things as far as the fancy car, big house, that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? But some people, I mean, it's not even bad. I can't really say some people, you know? I think like majority of people, um, they, they're they under the impression that, yo, I'm gonna work this job over time, over time, over time, and then that's gonna get me that car that I want as far as um, that exotic car, that Ferrari, that Lamborghini. That but I'm gonna get this through your head. People that drive those Lamborghinis, that drive those Ferraris, that drive those Paganis and whatnot, they don't have regular jobs. They don't even at times work for anybody. They're, um, you know, entrepreneur, like uh, a big time, you know, big time, big time, like company. They own something, you know what I'm saying? They don't work for others. And what do you think? No matter. Doing that over time, over time, over time, over time, getting that job that might pay you $80,000, $100,000, $120,000 a year. That's cool, but that's not going to get you that Ferrari, that McLaren, that so on and so on. It's not going to happen because to even acquire those require a different level of income. Sticking around like that $80,000 range, the $100,000 range, that $120,000 range, I feel like that, that, that puts you still in that middle class range and when you're trying to get to like that next level you got to pretty much actually fun. enjoy what you actually like even though it might not be an asset your you can still also your cash flow your cash flow has to be on a, on a whole different level because to even acquire th those kind of cars remember those kind of cars for one you're paying um with like 10 percent down if, if, if anything you might be paying like around five thousand dollars a month just in car payments you know what i'm saying and I understand, like, that's that's liability and whatnot, but fuck it. We only have one life. We enjoy it. So if, if you like fucking cars, get it. Just understand what's going to come out of it. Understand what, what it's going to So you have to, you know, find those opportunities. Like, I've always been into cars. I've been playing Gran Turismo since friggin' I was, like, 11, 12 years old type shit. Gran Turismo, one, two, three, like, whatever. So cars, cars those kind of cars. Um, it wasn't possible. It was impossible. You know what I'm saying? No matter what I was getting paid from from that job it was not gonna get me to that point that i wanted to so i'm able to afford those kind of crazy ass fucking cars those crazy ass car payments just kind of like just throw money out the window in some sense even though they're a couple thousand dollars a month just to even have um a, having a job can't get you there. so getting those jobs like I, I only had two jobs so getting those jobs bust my ass 120 hours at times in two weeks um, getting even close, you gotta do different shit. Do like be into different things, you know. Take advantage of different opportunities that could get you beyond those points. You know what I'm saying? Start making you get those three, four, five, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollar years. That's what you gotta pretty much tap into. A lot of people don't really know how. On on how to actually tap into that on, on, until they meet one person. Once they meet that one person that's actually doing, that's actually acquired, you know, uh, that kind of broke that barrier to even getting $500,000 um, a year in income, $600,000 plus more, that's when they are pretty much open to making those car awesome. dreams. But if you're so stuck on, I'm gonna work this job over time, over time, over time, and then be able to get that Ferrari or some shit, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. And once you know better, you could do better. That's all I always know. Like you, you, you don't know what you don't know until you meet that one person. That's why I like networking and all the other shit is very, very important because you got to pretty much be able to meet those other people that could actually, you know, make you break that to some extent. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know those people that, well, we probably don't know now, but growing up, we know those circles that everybody has a job and that's all that they know. They know nothing outside of a job that can make them crazy out of coming. You, you kind of have a different outlook on what kind of income you could actually make in a day or in a year or in a month. It's oh. different shit, you know? And, and, and then that's like what it is. But once they meet that one person, that one person, that's all it takes is one person to break that barrier. And once that barrier is broken, and once you break that barrier, trust me, you look back at, you know, when school used to preach $30,000 a year starting off, what? <laughs> that could be made in a day. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Start looking at shit different. 30K for a year. 
I can't survive that. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Got to break those barriers. So if you want to pretty much, you know, you know, gain all those things that you, when you look at other people's then you know, not, not, not envy, but are inspired by, um, you got to break those barriers. You have to break those barriers. And you will look back on that 30K a year that people put in people open about and laugh like 30K a year. <sighs> Come on, stop. So now if you're working a job, all right, if you're working that job, but you pretty much know better now, like I said, if you know better, you'll do better. So if you're still working that job, but you know better, that's, that means that you're not getting trapped by that entire system. That means that even outside of work, now you're working on your own goals. You're working on things that could pretty much, you know, get you to that next level and whatnot. Those opportunities that you, um, from those people, you know, those people that you were networking with, they, that actually even opened up that door of opportunity, that actually made you even able to break that barrier. Once that happens, once that happens, that's when you could pretty much, you know, take advantage of like what you're making at your job and everything else. But if you're just making money at your job and just that's that's good. I mean, if you want to be complacent, that's on you. All right. So you might be getting a hundred thousand dollars at your job, but you know, you investing outside of your job and then and that's pushing you to like around that six hundred thousand dollar or five hundred thousand dollar mark, you know, those are breaking those barriers. But if you're getting off of work and going home but if you are taking advantage of you know that hundred thousand dollar job that you might have or whatnot and then investing into, into other things that can make you you know what i'm saying more to even break those barriers now um to even push sleeping you. getting back up inside the morning going back to work getting back home going on the couch sleeping you know like what are you really doing though come on man you got to be productive every single day it's all about the level up you know what i'm saying it's all about the level up Life goes by real, real quick. Every single day go by real quick. And all of a sudden, boom, you're fucking 45, 50. What now? You know? So you got to break those barriers. Break. So again, if you know better, you'll do better. Simple as that. Break those barriers.